Hello, my dear kids. Very good evening. This is Sundar Ravindranathan here. Hi, Amisha. Hi, Rutvika. Samita, welcome back. So, guys, lovely to see all of you. Welcome to the session. Another Pariksha session. Guys, finally, another two more sessions for your grade. Pariksha will be there. I believe another three chapters are remaining, if I'm not wrong. So, guys, watch out, okay? So, be there on your toes. We are going to discuss another lovely set of four stories today. And followed by a question, both on the chapter as well as grammar. And then we will be off to a mentee. Four interesting chapters and a mentee. Ready? Okay, so let me move on slowly. Let others come and join us. Right? Hey guys, uh, in case you are new to Vedanta Young Wonder, this channel is for six to eight graders focusing on academic, non academic, we envision. Or uh, any student to become a complete man by all means. Okay, so academically, math, science, social, and English is what we cover. Non academically, uh, how to, uh, you know, a, a series on science, how different equipments work, uh, general knowledge, a series on general knowledge, on mathematics, do's and don'ts of mathematics. Lovely, lovely uh, stuff happen, guys. Even we have a foundation series and a session on a series on aptitude as well by Sahil sir. So quite a bouquet of offerings that are there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. All right. Lovely guys. Gamerys. Okay. Gamerize. Gamerize. Many, many happy returns of the day. God bless you. Tanu Priya, welcome back. Abhilasha, hi. Naksha, I am awesome. Hi, Surya Saurav Singh. How are you? Varsha. Yes, yes. Welcome back. So guys, in case you want to learn from us directly, Vedantu has given uh, a lovely, lovely subscription. Details of the subscription are there in your description box. What is so special? Guys, you will get unlimited classes. So by the way, first of all, one prime of AC, it's not very too costly and all. All right, it's super affordable with so many features. Unlimited live classes, and you know, you become super strong because master teachers are going to teach you. And anytime watch replays with leader, you know, uh, quizzes and leaderboards, whatever notes are given, download them in a click. And number of doubts, you can get them solved. Doubt solving is super important for you to become better learners, right? And yes, periodical tests and assignments are also given. On top of all these things, if you have any doubts on a topic or a chapter, 5,000 plus micro courses. If you're preparing for foundation course, uh, you know, uh, pre crash course access as well. So guys, a lot of classes, very less price. Details, as I said, are pinned to your description box. There is a link, go to that link, look at all the features. If you want it, please go for it. I'm giving you my coupon code SRPRO to get a good discount as well. All right, make use of it, guys. One class hardly costs around nine rupees for a three month subscription. Cool, ready? Shall we jump into the revision? Give me a yo, guys. How's the Josh? Let me check. How's the Josh? Or you guys want me to uh, ask you guys like uh, uh, Vicky Kaushal and Uri? How's the Josh, guys? Hi, girls. Awesome. Hi, Divyan Shu. Very high. Awesome. Start. How the dog found himself a new master. Guys, this is an interesting story. Okay. Uh, watch it very, you know, uh, I want you to listen carefully. You know what? The how This story is all about how dogs became a manservant. Remember, it's a story. Okay. By the way. So, it begins by telling how dogs and wolves belong to the same family. So, there was, uh, you know, one dog who changed the lives of all other dogs. One day, a dog realized that my God, what kind of life is this? Struggling all the time, every single day. He is fed up looking for food. He said, I will go and serve a strong animal so that all my problems are solved. So now I have to find a strong animal. So first he goes and meets a wolf and starts serving him. 
But however, in course of time, it sees that the wolf is scared of the bear. Then he understands no bear is better, stronger. So he goes and starts serving the bear. At one point in time, it finds that the bear is scared of the lion. Then he says, lion is stronger, let me serve the lion. So it goes and starts serving the lion. Finally, it finds that even the lion has fear of human beings. You know what he does? It goes to the man and it thus became his loyal servant. Though I have summarized it, I have just given a snapshot in a flash. I want you to read the story. It's going to be super interesting. Okay? So, are you guys ready for the question? Come on, come on, come on. Yashmi, how are you? Shika, the link is not wrong. bdnt.in slash yt pro. That's the link. Okay? So it's Ruhan. Hi, Ruhan. How are you? Okay. Mahesh Nair. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Dogs were tamed by... Dogs were tamed or given training and practice by lions or human beings. Which is the right answer? Do you really think this is a tough question? You tell me. Come on guys, start answering. Mm, B, 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 humans, humans, humans. Are you sure? The dog went to the lion at last, right? Just kidding guys. Human beings it is. Dogs were tamed by human beings. And the story is all about how dog became a loyal servant to humans. Now going to grammar. Be ready? Okay, fill it up with the right conjunctions. Keep the food covered. Dash, the flies will contaminate it. And or or. Keep the food covered. Dash, the flies will contaminate it. So is it A or B? And or or. Which is the right answer? Everyone is saying or, 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 or. You guys are good. Padma, you got to correct yourself. Okay, that's not, and is not the right answer. It is or. Keep the food covered or the flies will contaminate the food. Right. So guys, moving on to story number two. It's about a kite. I think we have already dealt with this poem when I was taking the session. Uh, so, a new kite is a wonderful sight to watch. How many of you have flown kites here? I have flown a lot, a lot of kites. So now you tell me, I love it as well. Anyone? Oh wow, Shika, okay. Hmm, Udav, awesome guys. I see so many of you, wow, awesome. Welcome to my bandwagon. So guys, so it's a great thing, great feeling, you know, and it's not just watching. Flying a kite is a great feeling. Diving and dipping in the blue sky, the kite creates some noise, especially when you pull it, right? So it goes high with the wind and it sails like a ship and it just moves along with the current of air, like the ship. The, the way ship moves with the ocean, all right, it rides with the current of air. And wind whenever the wind fails, the kite also slows down. It starts taking rest. Beautifully narrated by the poet. When the string which holds the kite, it goes slack, the master of the, you know, whenever the king loses the tension, master of the kite, the one who is flying it, they will pull the string. The kite come back to the, comes back to the earth when you keep pulling it. It is there again in the sky when a new wind blows again. So, however, when the string is caught in a tree, the kite flaps. That's it. So, it's torn, soon turns. Such a beautiful kite gets torn and becomes a very dirty thing. Right? So, if when you read uh, the story, you know, the way it has to be read, you will start feeling that. For that, you know, you should have watched the kites or you should have flown the kites as well. So keep doing that, guys. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely feeling. Okay, moving on. Are you ready for the question? Guys, I hope all of you are clear, right? It's simple, but it's interesting. Yes, it gets ranked. Come on, give me a yo. Let me move to the question. Come on, come on, come on.
yes 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 lovely guys lovely so the question here it is sides like a ship what figure of speech it is we have parts of speech and we also have figures of speech right sides like a ship is a, what kind of figure of speech it is simile or a metaphor sides like a ship is that a simile or a metaphor hey guys you guys are good here yeah? very good most of you are choosing option a it's a simile all right a kite sails like a ship it's more of a imaginative correlation which you call it as simile right okay got it so it is called simile so now moving on to a grammar question they went fill it up with the proposition they went to agra dash bus in bus by bus come on this is a tricky one let me see what you guys choose they went to agra dash bus in bus or by bus come on come on come on guys so many of you are saying by are you guys sure priyash is saying in okay everyone is saying by 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 okay you know what you guys are right it is by they went to agra by bus by is the right proposition okay so great the third one the now moving on to chapter 3 we just have one more wow it is the pride of india and indian american women in space kalpana chawla guys how many of you treat kalpana chawla as your inspiration can you just say me i come on come on come on i am raising my hand how about you guys you should read the entire story guys then you will understand why you can take her as an inspiration why you should in fact okay menti is there menti is there beta don't worry so guys this story throws light on uh, the tragic incident all right because of which we lost kalpana chawla it is about the famous indian american women kalpana chawla who became the first woman born in india to go to space so it speaks about her childhood she has a lot of dreams it, sp it speaks a lot about dreams how important is dreaming the way our beloved former president apj abdul kalam says keep dreaming like the same way kalpana keeps dreaming about traveling to space and she just merely graduated from an engineering college that alone was not health so she went to us to get a masters degree uh, though his, you know his father was resisting her father i'm sorry right later she enrolled into a phd as well and her entire story is a super duper inspiration for all of us because with a lot of hard work and determination if you dream of something and you can reach your goal she, that way she got selected for nasa's uh, space shuttle program nasa's uh, you know space shuttle program that's how she traveled to space unfortunately the columbia disaster when the shuttle went down all right this shattered everyone globally not just the indians alone but her, her story through her story she has her life she has left a legacy for being an inspirational woman for all of us guys are you ready for a question yes we doesn't matter how many are watching don't keep watching that okay listen to the uh, the you know the story participate just enjoy forget who is joined who is not okay i pile superb here we go kalpana chawla was a resident of which country india or us resident of in which country india or us come on come on come on guys waiting for your responses yes we were we are going to move on to menti just one more chapter is there so she is a resident of us not india she is not all right she got residence uh, you know the visa in uh, 
citizenship in US. Okay? Right. Question number two. Synonym. Synonym is a word with similar meaning. What is the synonym of kindness? Compulsion, compassion. Synonym of kindness. Compulsion, compassion. Come on, guys. Give it to me. Give the right answer. Bang on it. Hi, Vandana. How are you? So, everyone is saying B. Rightly so. Compassion it is. Kindness and compassion go hand in hand, right? They, they mean very similar, right? But their meaning is very similar. I'm sorry. Okay, the final one before we jump to a mentee. Beauty. Guys, there are three different beauty, you know, types of beauty the poet speaks here. One is the beauty that you say in the daytime. Two is the beauty of the night. The second stanza is all about the beauty of the night. And number three is the beauty of our inner self. The way it should be. So three beautiful things. Guys, look at the picture. The picture looks lovely, right? The animated Jeff it is. So beauty, this is what we speak. It has three stanzas. One, all right, uh, it speaks about the beautiful things that can be seen, heard and felt. First answer, as I said, the beauty that we can see in the daytime. Trees, birds, people, all right, the forest, the, the you know, people dancing in the harvest, etc. The second answer is about the wonders of the night. The wind sighing, the rain falling, all right, and the earnest song sung by a singer. This is about the second stanza. The third stanza is about how beauty is inside us. Do good, be good, do good, and have, having very, very happy thoughts when you are living, working, dreaming, and resting. That makes you a lot more beautiful person. So, as the poem describes about how beauty is there everywhere, inside and around us. Guys, are you ready for MNT now? Before that, let me complete those two questions. Beauty depends on what? On the soul or the mind? Guys, this is a tricky question. I want you to answer. Only if you have thought and understood this properly, you will be able to answer this clearly. Beauty depends on the soul or the mind. Come on, come on, come on. Everyone is saying soul. Why not mind? Think right and do right. Guys, antonym. Second question. Antonym. What is the antonym? Our antonym is nothing but the opposites. Contradicting meaning. Gloomy. Antonym of gloomy is what? Bright or basic. Opposite of gloomy. You know what? It's kind of a gloomy day. What is the opposite? Everyone is saying A, 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 A. Is it bright, by the way? There are a lot of you who are saying basic. That is nothing to do with basic. Gloomy means very, very kind of dark. Dull and dark. Right? The opposite is bright. Okay, guys, moving on to a mentee now. Here it comes, the mentee. I want all of you to go to W, I, I, let me open. Go to this website, www.menti.com. M-E-N-T-I, menti.com. Go to menti.com, www.menti.com and press enter. When you go to menti, M-E-N-T-I, menti.com, open your browser, go to the website, menti.com. It will say, please enter the code. That means you have to type a code. The code for today's mentee is 8932. I repeat, 8932-2642. Come on, guys. 8932-2642. This is the code. 8932-2642. Join faster, guys. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> come on.
Come on, guys, ready? <coughs> okay. Guys, 30 more seconds. First question will be there on your screens. Let me refresh my page so that everyone is able to join. Night Killer Gamer, good, good to hear that. Eight, nine, three, two, two, six, four, two. Eight, nine, three, two, two, six, four, two. Fifteen more seconds. Yashvi, beta. I'm starting, don't worry. Ten. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Here we go. First question on your screens. The dog was not happy because he was... Sick, lonely, lazy. Think deeply. What could be the reason for the unhappiness of the dog? How many of you say lazy? Lonely? Guys, dog felt lazy. Boy, God, I have to go search, in, you know, in search of food every day. I don't want to do this. Let me be a servant to a very strong animal. I'll get my foot that way. So it was lazy. So the right answer is lazy. So Sagar, Raskin, Srivatsan, Nicholas, and Supriya. Top five. Ashvika, Akshit, Ansh, Kathy, and Beyonds. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beyonds. Question two. Six more to go. Here it comes, guys. Be ready. Identify. She writes with the left hand. What kind of sentence is this? Interrogative, assertive, imperative. Hmm. Good. All right. We are passing a stern fact and observation very clearly. So that's an assertive sentence. <clears throat> so, after two questions, Sagar, Sagar, Nicholas, Supriya, Akshit, and Kathy, top five. Chris, Ashley, Abhilasha, Askin, and Keshika. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Question three, five more to go. Here it comes. <clears throat> Sumlender, look at the chat box, you get the code. The kite dives and dips in what? Ocean, sky, river? The kite dives and dips. Where? Sky. Yes, it is. Of Obviously, it's a kite, right? It dives and dips in the sky. So... Oh no, Sagar went down. Looks like Nicholas is at the top. Followed by Supriya, Sagar, Abhilasha, Keshika. Top 5. Krish, Sanjali, Mithi, Maverick and Charvi. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So guys, question 4. 4 more to go. So what is the fourth question? <clears throat> article. Do you want dash cup of curry? Come on guys, simple article. Which one will come? A uh, and the. A and the. A and the. Himanshu, beta, what, did, what is your confusion? Everyone shows A, rightly so. Do you want a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee. Now, three questions are done. Sagar is still at the top, followed by Krish at the number two, Abhilasha, Keshika, Maverick, top five, Nishant, Anjali, Tanu, Mithi, and Charvi, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
guys a quick reminder hit the like button guys super important because that's the only what do you say uh george that i get to do more and more to practice more and more to prepare more and more for all of you hit the like button guys and yes a quick reminder even for this if you want the subscription go to the link in your description box use this coupon code srpro okay right moving on to the next question hi mahesh question 5 just three more are there be ready so the fifth question is kalpana earned her phd in where where was that astrophysical or sorry in which division astrophysical engineering astronautical aerospace neetu yes sir is neetu aerospace guys come on you should link to what she did right she did a phd in aerospace engineering now anjali still at the top anjali ashvika supriya bhavya and uh, nandan top 5 adrian ananya skets altin and vani 6 7 8 9 10 question number 6 two more to go on your screens now so here we go since 2011 they that they stand every year have visited had visited visited use your common sense since 2011 they have if it is singular it would be has he has or she has is fine since it is plural it has to be have they have visited their son every year it's still continuing so had will not come bhavya oh looks like nandan is at the top nandan Adrian, Bhavya, Ananya, and all ten. Top five. Mithi, Ashley, Charvi, Tanu, and Love Side. Hey guys, question number seven. Just one more is remaining after this. Here we go. And what is the seventh question? Let me check. The seventh question is: Beauty can be, beauty can be, seen and heard, only seen, seen, heard, and felt. So this is from the poem Beauty. which is the right answer if you have listened well this is a cake a walk on the cake for all of you how many of you chose option c good it can be seen it can be heard and can be felt and that's what that poem is all about <clears throat> nandan still at the top followed by bhavya Look at that. There are only three points difference. Adrian, Ananya, Mithi. Top five. Ashley, Tanu, Charvi, Anjali, and Ashwika. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, the final tamale. Here it is coming. Are you ready? Here we go. Question number eight. The final one. what dash models what is the model verb that will fill in the that blank what dash happen now well must can fill it with the right model verb what will happen now right so guys you guys are good Looks like Nandan is winning, guys. Clearly so. Well done, Nandan. Followed by Bhavya, Ati, and Mithi and Ashley. Nandan, congratulations. Keep it up, beta. Bhavya, Ati, and Mithi and Ashley. Great job, top five. Star, Chaitanya, Ashwika, Anushka, Prayas. Keep it up, guys. Congratulations to all of you for making it to the leaderboard today. Keep it up.
Guys, there could be so many of you who got the right answers. Kudos to you also. Keep practicing. You will get to the leaderboard, okay? Yes, guys. Hit the like button and let me know you like the session. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Guys, lovely interacting with all of you. So what? Tomorrow there is a lovely quiz by Priya ma'am. And yes, I will be back again on Monday, guys. Uh, 6.30 with a lovely, lovely session for SSP Pariksha. Until then, guys, this is myself, Sundar Rabidhanathan, signing off. Kids, have a lovely, lovely Saturday evening and a complete Sunday, a weekend. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Catch up. Bye-bye. Hi, Payal. Bye-bye.